hey guys you're welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi i'm v and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to get this subtle non-foundation makeup look so starting off with skin i've just discovered this new hack where you mix your liquid highlighter with your moisturizer and it just gives you this nice glow it looks like you're going from within like it, it looks healthy i don't know how to describe it but yeah that's what i've been doing recently and now moving on to brows so i've been loving a thin a thinner more straight or should i say lifted brow and that's what i'm just trying to achieve here with my brow pencil then i forgot to moisturize my lips of course this is a must <laughs> so i go in with my nivea peach shine i like that it has a subtle tint but it's not so obvious because it's literally the exact color of my skin tone i i love it then i'm now concealing my brows i don't always conceal my brows but for today i'm trying to go a little bit more i'm leaning more on the glam side of things and not exactly like a natural natural vibe so it will come up natural because of how i'm going to blend all the products so as you can see now i've taken a darker shade of foundation a darker shade than the concealer shade that i used to highlight and i'm just blending it all over my crease so that it looks a bit natural and seamless even though i did actually highlight it now i'm just going to do a little bit of a half lash i did that off camera and i'm moving on to skin so this maybelline fit me concealer is the exact shade of my skin tone and i just love it to do a little bit of like color correcting since we're not wearing foundation you want to just blur out or hide a little bit of my spots and yeah just to make my skin look a bit more perfect <laughs> than it already is if that makes any sense well i've just gone in with a little bit of that and now i'm taking my zikel cosmetics concealer palette <laughs> I'm sorry, this voiceover is really, it's really beating me up. I'm, I'm trying my best. <laughs> but I've taken a huge amount of that concealer and I'm placing it where I would like to highlight. And I find that when doing a no foundation makeup look, it's best to get your placement right. So every concealer that you're going to use, your cream or liquid blush everything has to be placed where it's supposed to be and then you can start blending it in from there you will get a more seamless application when you do it this way as opposed to when you are layering concealers and products on top so i like to start off this way with all the cream products and then i now go over that with powder remember to set your face i'm using a mist to set my face here and then I start to blend so everything is nice and wet um, from the setting spray so it's easy to blend but you need to take your time with this I noticed that it looks like I put a bit more on the other side of my face but now I'm just trying to blend everything seamlessly so it looks proportionate and I'm taking some of that concealer to the other parts of my face where you know where foundation was supposed to be so there's a bit more coverage there as well and i've taken a bigger blending brush to make everything more seamless so if i was going for a natural natural vibe i would definitely be blending in the concealer till it almost disappears but i'm not doing that today because i'm still going to go out after this video so i decided to just go um a bit more glam so I'm adding in a brighter concealer. You need to be careful with this one because this is like 300 times lighter than my skin shade. <laughs> and I'm blending with the same eyeshadow brush that I used earlier, a smaller brush. Then I'll go in with a bigger blending brush to just make everything nice and seamless. So for a lifted effect, always try to blend everything upwards. And that's what I'm doing right now. And now I'm setting with powder so i use a loose powder first and i go in with my powder palette that has different shades of pressed powders and i use the bronzing shade to set the bronzer i used earlier and to set all the other areas of my face basically 
and now i'm going in with powder blush just to match the cream blush that we used earlier do not be afraid of blush guys don't be afraid it literally disappears when it's time to take pictures so <laughs> be sure to pack it on be like me i i do not care i love blush and i went in with another round of setting spray just to keep everything locked in after the power powdering side word after applying powder <laughs> then i'm doing not my regular lip combo today instead of clear lip gloss i went with a pink lip gloss on top of my brown pencil and just look at the finished look i am literally obsessed i'm telling you whenever i do my makeup like this i get the most compliments because it looks natural it looks seamless but at the same time it's glam just let me zoom you guys in just look at the skin and you can see that highlighter that we mixed with our moisturizer earlier it's shining through and that's the end of today's video guys if you'd like to see more of these type of videos please like and subscribe and don't forget to turn on that notification bell till next time bye thank you <laughs>